Gagula. We are going to take each one of you and bury you alive one at a time. I'd like to ask Vander to step forward. Vander, you have showed us incredible looks and incredible acting skill, which are two qualities required to win the crown of Dragula. But what we haven't been able to test you on yet is one of the third qualities, which is the punk and filthy side of Dragon. What we'd like to do tonight is to ask you, and you don't have to accept, to ask you to voluntarily partake in the extermination challenge to prove to us that you have that filthy side to you. One of you shine just a little bit brighter than the rest, and that monster is... James Majesty. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Um, total shock. I, I thought for sure Victoria was gonna win off her fancy prosthetics and her really clean outfit. I was like, damn, this bitch has it in the bag. I'm kind of confused why I didn't win this week's challenge. I put a shit ton of work in and a lot of preparation, and somehow it didn't pay off. I see a parasol. Oh, oh what? I and I Shut up. I, what the fuck? Uh oh. I'm out. All right, here we go. Wow. I'm out. I'm Hi, out. ladies. This is Hi, unexpected. Yeah, what Hello. happened? Welcome back. Fuck. I just feel like we lost a really good competitor, and I. I don't know why. Wait. Let me get some of that shade. Oh. <laughs> so they're not going to pull the pageant enough. and Dali is not going to walk out in two seconds. Right? Yeah, I'm a little shocked. Wait, yeah. what What happened? Termination challenge is going to be to answer all of those questions again and maybe a few more, but there's a twist because this time you're going to be hooked up to a polygraph machine. Bitch. Okay. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> Girl. All right. It's come to our attention that maybe one of our girls was cut too early. <gasps> oh, no. Maybe she didn't get a fair deal. And we're going to bring her back right now. Dolly, please step forward. I hate this bitch. Just kidding, she's not coming back. She's dead. No worries. <laughs> she is so dead. Okay. Oh my god, did you see the way I hit her with that? Never. Anyways, look, it's just a little joke, okay? She's not coming back. Abora, I want to congratulate you because you have won this challenge. <laughs> I think I'm having a stroke. I, I, I needed this. I needed this. Does anybody have a cigarette right now? I don't think Abora should have won for that piece of shit. I don't think Abora should have won for lighting a bouquet on fire. I need a fucking Xanax. Your performance was completely polarizing with the judges. Half of us thought it was the best thing we saw tonight and there was no other option but to crown you the winner of this challenge. But the other half thought that it was trash and it fell short of the mark. This doesn't diminish the win at all. You are the winner of our gothic wedding challenge, but you are also up for extermination tonight. You could potentially go home because for some of us, your look missed the mark, it was sloppy, and your overall performance wasn't delivered professionally. Hope that makes some sense. Yeah. I'm gonna go home. Uh, okay. Sorry, you guys, I can't do this. What? out of Halloween's face too early and it took her off guard and she completely broke character. While I'm definitely at fault, she never should have broken character. Brett, pop off, follow her. I don't have extra spinal tap needles, so I don't have 
another did you get it? in my mouth, so did all you? I can do is stick dirty needles I dropped on the floor back into my face. 99%. I'm having a moment. That's it. I'm gonna shove him back in. I'm gonna shove him back in. I don't give a fuck. If this whole incident puts us in the bottom and I'm up for extermination, I'm going to be pissed. As professional as a performer Hollow is, I am shocked that she stopped mid performance. Never should you stop performing during a performance. And next time, if anything should happen, can you not stop? Can someone do a mirror? Should you show me a mirror? Okay, well, I am really fucking shocked to see Hollow fucking broke character and I think we're not in for a good time. I wanna ask Dahlia to step forward. Dahlia, you found the key of life and death at the beginning of the challenge. The key gives you the ability to either automatically save yourself from extermination or instantly put one of your competitors up for extermination. Your only chance to use it is right now. Do you wish to use the key? Dahlia has the power to put anybody that she wants up for extermination. I know I did an amazing job today, but now I'm shaking in my boots. Dahlia, save yourself, bitch, because I'm a little worried for you, sister. I'd like to save myself. Yep, chairs are behind. Got it, we got it. Give us some water, please. I need a medic to set. For now, we have another surprise for you. As you know, Saint competed in and won our Halloween Resurrection Special, which is what allowed her to return and compete again this season. While she undisputedly won the competition, it seems she didn't close the door to hell hard enough and another competitor has slithered back through the doors and into the competition. We feel this competitor's time on season two was cut too short and they proved in resurrection that they more than deserve a second chance at the crown. So without further ado, please welcome our newest fighter to enter the arena. Are you fucking kidding me? Dolly. <laughs> Dolly, welcome back to the competition. Jade, please step forward. This week you found the key of life and death. This gives you the power to save yourself or put one of your fellow competitors up for extermination. Jade, how do you wish to use the key's power? Um, I came in today kind of going back and forth. I thought I had made a decision. And sometimes people think that I'm not a player and I can't make strong decisions. But I think that I'm standing up here amongst incredible people who are working very, very hard. And the only person that I think is coasting along currently is Betty. So I would like to put her up for extermination. Betty, due to the key, you are up for extermination tonight. I'm pissed that Jade put me up for extermination, but kudos to her for finally being a real bitch. Hoso, I'm sorry to tell you, but that means you will also be competing. Yeah! I need to figure out. <laughs> In honor of season four and the fact that the four of you have performed so well, we will have a four-way competition for the grand finale this year. It's going to be a final four instead of a top three. <laughs> <laughs> this is normally the part where we would put two of you up for elimination. But we're so thrilled to have you all back with us that we refuse to ruin this family reunion personally. So instead, we're going to let all of you ruin it for us. 
Each of you will tell us who you feel performed the weakest this week with a secret ballot. And the two performers who get the most votes for being the worst will ascend the steps of souls to the ghostly gallery. Excuse me? And one of you will be cast back down into... Oblivion. Oh my God. This is fucking crazy. Good thing I have that alliance, honey. It's gonna come in handy. We're going to release you to the cauldron. Abora. You have been eliminated. I, I, I just didn't, I did not see that coming. Was that a fucking trap door? <laughs> this is the twist we were waiting for. However, tonight we are having a science fiction double feature. Victoria, congratulations. You have also won the challenge. Oh, yes, yes, bitch. Yes. Yes. The two of you may now head back to your home worlds. Well, that was fucking unexpected. I didn't expect to be winning as well as Hoso, so gagula. As they say, heavy is the head that wears the crown. And tonight, your head may be the heaviest. Oh God. What? What is going on? As the winner of the challenge, you will decide the two competitors who you feel will be up for elimination today. <sighs> uh, they're ruining my bra. I'm not worried about Victoria putting me in the bottom because she saw me in her top three, so I don't really see this as a threat. This season is just full of surprises. I don't know who Victoria's gonna put in the bottom two, but I do know that it's not me because I'm safe. Wouldn't it be a gag if Victoria chose herself? Girl, do me the favor. Eva. Hoso. Surprise, uglies. It seems as though our ringside announcers may have been telling the truth when they said that this match was too close to call. We have decided to spare you from elimination. For both of you, and for the rest of your fellow competitors, the Battle of the Titans continues. <laughs> but be warned. Saving you both tonight will have future consequences. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's important. I don't give a fuck at this point. If I go home, I fucking go home. All right, then go. Everything is building up, and at this point, I, I want to quit. I want to quit. The reality is that no one's innocent in this situation, even Melissa. There's been multiple moments where I've seen her go off and have conversations about people behind their backs too. You're still family. I don't, I don't Please don't, to, don't, like, don't shut to, out. I don't want you to feel like we don't have your back. Don't walk out, oh, please. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, oh, okay. All right, we'll just... <laughs> just let her go. Just let her do what she needs to do. Melissa, 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 talk to me. <laughs> I would love to go support her, but I don't know what I can add. Please talk to me. I just want to leave. <laughs> I feel such a pain inside of me, and I just can't explain that what I feel. It's just, it's tough. I just, I don't want to be here. <laughs> How are we supposed to call ourselves our, our friends, even? Everything just hit me all at once. Everything, everything, everything. <sighs> that fucking sucks. What's making you upset? Everything. Just them, just the way they're acting, like, not fessing up to shit. And I'm like, there, I'm sitting there like, if I'm the fucking one looking stupid now, because I'm speaking my, my fucking truth. And it's not that competition I would want to leave for. It's because of the fucking, the fucking shady ass, fake ass bitches that they are. They made everything clear for me. They just don't give a fuck. And I'm not going to give a fuck either. So why should I even fucking stay? I'm OK. I'm OK. I, I just let Coco stay. <sighs> I saw today that she was like feeling almost secluded and she was just by herself and like I should have been there for her but I feel like I've just betrayed her and I this is not how I want to feel right now because 
Oh, it fucking sucks. Do you want to go back in there and see them or no? No, I'm done. No. Okay. Yeah, I do not want to see any of them. I do not have any business walking back into that cauldron. I'm done. So everyone, I just spoke with Melissa. She does not wish to continue the competition and she does not wish to come back into the cauldron. Really? Really? Damn. What? Victoria. You will also be moving on to the grand finale.